Hello everyone, and welcome. My name is Dicart, and this is a quick list of the features added with the Capitalism Lab City Economic Simulation DLC. As with any DLC, you need to start out by enabling it from the main menu. So you can choose the banner and enable the DLC. And as with all the other DLC, it works in conjunction with the other DLC. So you can turn them on and off however you want to play the game. Um, one special thing about this DLC menu for the City Economic Simulation DLC is survival mode. That must be enabled in this menu if you would like to play the game in survival mode. Basically, survival mode is a way to start the game and play controlling a city and focusing on the city development. You can start from scratch or you can start with a, a predefined city, small, that you have to build up from there. So that's one thing uh, that you have to do that's slightly different. If you want to do survival mode, you must enable it in here first. Okay, so the next thing uh, that is added to the game is five new scenarios. So city economic simulation. There's five new scenarios to play, so you can learn the game that way if you would like. Uh, help you out with understanding a lot of the new features. Once you're inside the game, there are many, many new features. Uh, one is the city competitiveness ratings. And that is a competitiveness rating based on each different product within the city. So right here, you can see household products is a 33.01. So that means building household products within this city is going to have an advantage over building something like, say, footwear. There's more employees working in that industry, and it's going to help a little bit more. Another thing that's been added are political parties. You can create your own political party or support an existing one. If you create your own political party and you have someone within your party win the election for mayor, it gives you control over the city or what they call political influence on the city. And you can then operate in government mode. Government mode is a new thing that was added. Right here's a button for it. You can switch to government mode and that'll change some of your options and allow you to build things within the city. So there's new buildings you can build, civic buildings and things of that nature. There's also landmarks that can be built. If you complete goals within the game, um, so you look here, like your goal right here might be build a new city. Once you complete certain goals in the game, landmarks unlock and you can build landmarks to choose bonus effects to affect your city, such as decreasing civic building operating costs and things of that nature. You can also build a brand new city by clicking on the world map, choosing a location, clicking build a city. It will allow you to be the mayor for 30 years. And of course it costs you money and it will start you much like survival mode on a blank slate. So you can build a city up. You're still in the world with the rest of the stuff, um, but you can build a city from scratch if you would like. There's also a lot of information within the city reports screen. There's different graphs to see information about your current city that might help you. There's controlling policies. Once again, if, if you have someone in your political party that's a mayor, you can control the policies. You can set up auto control of the city. Uh, you can see quality of life things. It's a lot of information you can find in here. Another thing that was added was influence score. So instead of just your wealth and business score, now there's an influence score. There's also a most influential people list. So you don't have to necessarily set your goal to become the highest billionaire. You can set for highest, most influential person if you would like to do that. Another thing that's been added is city education level. Uh, by adding universities and such, you can set up, uh, you can improve the education level within a city which will allow you to have better staff in your civic buildings, and it'll also help with your city competitiveness ratings on the different products. There's a new store type. If you're in the business mode, there's a new retail store called a general store. Basically, you don't get, like if you look at these, you get a specialty bonus that's a demand because it's a specialty store. With this, you don't get that demand bonus. However, you're allowed to sell a much wider variety of, of things. So that's a new store type. And lastly, there are new minimap modes for looking at your city population and pollution. There's population and public services. So this will show you what areas are have access to different public services within the city. So when you're building the city, you can help your corporation out. And then there's um, a central business district, this red dot, 
that shows you this is the central business district of the city. So those are just uh, a few of the features that have been added with the Capitalism Lab City Economic Simulation DLC. I hope you've enjoyed the video. I hope it's been helpful, and I hope you enjoy the DLC. Thank you so much for joining me. Take care, everyone.